Hey, welcome back into my channel, everybody. In today's video, we are gonna be discussing three myths about realtors. Let's jump right into it. So it seems like when most people think of a realtor, they think of this very wealthy and flashy individual who doesn't really even care about you. They're only using you to either get some money in their pocket and try, just trying to get you to buy or sell a property. Now, in my opinion, this stems mostly from like TV shows and movies because they always portray realtors as those flashy, wealthy individuals. But in reality, this just isn't that true. Believe it or not, most realtors don't even come close to making $100,000 a year. Now, I can't speak for all agents, but for me personally and most of the people that I've come in contact with, we all got into this field because we have a passion for helping others. And real estate is a way that allows us to act on that passion and actually help and give back to people who need assistance. You know, the home buying or the home selling process can be very stressful. It's not just as simple as making an offer on a home and settling on it the next day. Uh, like you might see in TV shows. It's actually a lot more complex than that. And it's a very stressful process. If you're not working with an agent or someone who is an expert in this field and is in it every single day, um, it, it's tough out there. So for me and us agents, being in a position like we are in to help someone and kind of ease that stress a little bit is a very rewarding feeling. Not to mention a lot of realtors get into this profession because they want to be entrepreneurs. And as a realtor, you are in a position to have that sort of flexibility with your time to make your own schedules and give you that flexibility that you need. Being a realtor is a very challenging, but at the same time, very rewarding job. Now this might be hard for some to believe because as I mentioned in a lot of TV shows and movies, they make the whole real estate process look very easy. Um, you know, they might go out and view three or four homes and make an offer on it, get accepted. And then what they do is they skip all of that time in the middle and show you the very end when they walk back into the house at closing and they live happily ever after. Now, having said that, yes, that could still happen. Um, you know, if it's an all cash offer with no contingencies, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a really simple process, usually nine times out of 10. Um, but usually that is not the case. Usually it's not an all cash offer. Usually there's contingencies and it's not that simple. Now, let me preface what I'm about to say by first saying that I'm talking about this current market that we are in. So we're in June of 2022 right now. Um, and right now as a home buyer, typically what we see happen is you're at least gonna be looking for a minimum of a few weeks uh, until you're able to actually secure a home. Uh, you're gonna look at multiple homes, uh, make a few offers. You're gonna likely lose out on at least one or two of those because it is still a competitive market out there. Um, but after a few tries, you're gonna lock one down and we go from there. It's important for you to go into the process with that mindset because especially in this market with how competitive it is, we have seen some home buyers have to just take a step back, take a breath and put their home search on pause because it can be stressful, uh, especially if you think that you're gonna get your very first offer accepted on the very first home that you saw, which usually doesn't happen. Um, so it can be easy to get distraught you know if you don't have that mindset and you're not aware of what and yeah what the market is doing right now now also keep in mind once you do get your offer accepted it doesn't mean you're going to be moving in the very next day uh, there's still a lot of things that need to happen you know if you elected inspections uh, you're going to need to leave time for more negotiations um, you're going to have to make sure you get an appraisal um, secure your loan you know there's a lot of things that still need to happen i mean there's title work that needs to be done and all this can typically take between 30 and 45 days on average it could be less or it could be more depending on your own circumstances but it varies per each transaction now as your agent we're gonna likely sit down with you beforehand and go over all of this stuff so that you're not blindsided and you're going into it educated and aware of what's about to happen and then of course throughout the process we're also going to be right there by you 
guiding you and just helping you navigate everything. The next myth that I want to discuss is around clients. So a lot of people think that as an agent, you know, leads and clients just come in and it's so easy and we get to pick and choose who we want to work with. Now, let me be the first to tell you this is not true whatsoever. Getting clients is single-handedly the hardest part of this job. You know, there's thousands of other agents out there, so it's not like clients just flock to us. You know, you need to get creative in order to draw attention to yourself and get your name out there. We're essentially running our own business. So, I mean, you can imagine how much actually needs to go into it in order for us to generate any sort of business and be successful on any sort of capacity. So just to give you an example of some of the things that agents do to generate business. Um, so some people will cold call, cold email, um, run ads. You know, we have to post constantly on social media to remain prevalent and remain like in the face of potential clients. Um, I mean, people go door knocking. Um, there's just so many different things. You have to network, go to events. It's a lot more than you would think. It's not like clients come to you. We need to go to the clients. Now, the reason that I'm going over all this stuff is because I can understand where the general public might not trust realtors that much if they think that it's easy for us to bring in new clients and new business because they might think that we don't take them as seriously because we're, we can just get a new client tomorrow. So I'm telling you all this to let you know that that is absolutely not true. So because it was so challenging for us to get a client that when we do get a client, we are treating them very carefully. You know, like we don't want to mess anything up. We worked hard in order for us to have a relationship in order for you to pick us. You know, we want to do right by you. We want to prove you right in picking us as your agent that we're sh we're going to go above and beyond for you you know we care deeply about each one of you and we all just want you to be happy we all want you to find the perfect home and settle in and live that fairy tale ending now if you came into this video with negative views on realtors hopefully i was able to change your mind a little bit um but I urge anyone who is looking to buy or sell to make sure you do your own research. Um, nowadays, there's so much information online. Um, if a realtor is, you know, not the best fit for you, you're usually going to be able to tell uh, just by looking at their online profile if they have a website. Um, and feel free to interview different agents. You know, you don't have to work with the first agent that you meet. Um, feel free to uh, shop around. You know talk to different people, meet different agents, and figure out who is actually best for you. Um, because at the end of the day, that is what is most important. You know, we all want what is best for you. Um, if you don't have an agent, if you don't know where to start, reach out to me. <laughs> I would love to be your agent or at least point you in the right direction so that you can get the process started um, or answer any questions that you have. Um, my contact information is linked in the description of this video. You can call me, text me, email me, whatever you want to do. Let me know. Uh, I would love to help you guys out. Um, but I appreciate everybody watching this video um, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.